Okay, before we start taking the harness apart, we want to get our tools and supplies ready. Um, you're going to need a 5 millimeter Allen wrench to take this bolt out. Uh, we'll use our uh, 3 to 4 foot piece of climbing line. This one is the uh, bandit colored 11 millimeter blaze. A half inch climbing line would also work. You'll need two rigging plates. These are the SMC four hole rigging plates. And then I recommend getting a piece of chalk. You'll see where that will come in handy in a little bit. Um, before we take the harness apart, we're gonna put our bridge together. But in order to do that, we need to get this ring off, assuming we are gonna use a ring on the new one. So let's start by Take this bolt out and we're going to leave the left leg completely together. Um, we're not going to take that side apart and these other two, we're going to leave them sitting right where they are. Uh, it just helps keep track of everything if we don't move it around too much. And then we'll grab our ring, tie a stopper knot on the end of the rope here. This piece of rope is way too long. I think it's four feet long, and uh, but it doesn't matter for right now. We're gonna put it together, and then we can fine tune it later, cut off the excess when we're ready for it. Um, slip your rigging plate through the middle front hole, then add on the ring. And I'm a little OCD sometimes, so I have the front rigging plate has the printing on the inside, so we're going to flip this one over so it matches, put it through the middle hole, and then tie our second stopper knot. Most people tend to have the distance between the knots somewhere between 8 and 12 inches. So you can see we've got a lot of excess here. That doesn't matter. This one is about 9 inches, uh, but we'll fine tune it later. We can set this off to the side, and now we're going to start taking apart the webbing here. Um, we'll start on the easy one. There's a strap that's girth hitched onto this bar on the D-ring and uh, we're going to put that one on first. Before we open this up, take your chalk and you're going to put three marks on it. One at the very end of the eye, one right across the middle bar of the uh, tri-glide buckle. Then we can open this up and put another mark on the inside at that same spot right across the tri-glide. Um, that's going to serve as a frame of reference for us. Um, it, it's true that this can all get adjusted later. I like to put it back together more or less the way it was when, when we started and then um, if we want to tighten things up later uh, we can do that. So we're going to take our rigging plate and we're going to go to the back hole. Um, some people do have their rigging plates oriented the other way so that um, the, well, we'll just put it this way. Y you can experiment with the orientation of the rigging plate, but for right now, we're going to use the big back hole to go up to the D-ring. So we'll hook this one through here. And if we pull that, there's our, the loop that mark marks the end of the loop and then we just put the webbing through until we see that webbing, uh, that yellow chalk come through. Double it through and so there's the end of our, the end of the loop and there's the middle of the tri-glide. That one is now good to go. There's two holes left, excuse me, there's two holes left on the rigging plate. The bottom one is going to go to the leg strap the top one is going to be a, an extra clip-in point while you're climbing. So let's uh, start on that leg strap. This one's a little more complicated, um, but we'll, we'll chalk it up well to uh, make it easy for us. Um, so we're going to mark right at the, um, at the buckle, and then at this tri-glide, open it up, and mark on the inside one as well. You can see I've got some marks on here already. 
And then this mark is really important, I think, to make it really, really big because this buckle slides very freely and um, it could get, we could get lost on exactly where it goes. So we know the big ugly mark goes to that free hanging, uh, free hanging adjuster right there. So we can pull this all out. Make sure you leave this connected. It's one less thing to worry about if you don't uh, take this off and set it to the side. Um, so we have to take this one completely off. And just set that right there. And then the last one does not need to come completely off. You can leave that side in and then we will take our um, uh, uh, our rigging plate, put the webbing through, and we got to make sure we are not getting any twist. And then get that keeper in there, and that big ugly mark right there is going to go even with the rigging plate. And now we can slide on. We know that that mark is going to line up with the middle bar on the buckle. But before we do that, we need to go through the bottom of the leg buckle, back into the top on the back side. And I think that that mark, we could have put a plus or something right there to help keep it straight. But I think that that mark lines up with the red buckle. And then Ah! I made a mistake. We gotta go back. Good thing that we have all these marks to help us keep track of it all. Okay, so there's our mark. Come in, making sure we're not having any twist here. <clears throat> there's our yellow mark. the final yellow mark pull that through and this one is now good to go we're completely reassembled over here and we might need to do some adjusting later but everything's oriented the right way so let's go ahead and do it again so we can see it again on the other side we're completely assembled over here We'll take the bridge, the old bridge, off. Oops. Okay, let's chalk it up again. So one right across the middle, one on the very end. Take the strap out, mark it across the middle, and now we're going to go again to the big hole pointing to the back. That's the first mark. a little bit tighter here um, but I'm gonna be fine with that we'll leave it as is um, now let's do the leg strap and just to keep things straight we're gonna make this a big X so an X at the red buckle this one gets a mark across the top open it up Give it a mark across the inside, and then this is our loose, loose one that we're going to give the big ugly mark to. And now we take it apart. Set 
that one right there. And remember, we're going to go to the bottom loop this time. And if we switch it around, we're going to end up with a twist here. So um, it helps to remember if you were keeping the writing on the inside to make sure that it's on the inside still. We'll run it through, run our webbing through and find our big ugly mark. That's the V-U-M, the big ugly mark. Go through the retaining buckle and we have a twist. We gotta take it back out. Okay. This can get up here out of the way. Now we slide this one on. Back to the next mark. And remember, last time we forgot to run it through first. Well, you didn't forget, I forgot. So we have um, the second buckle is in position. We run this through the red buckle. Line it up with our with the X. There's our X. So we'll put that right there. And the rest should be very easy. Okay, oh, let's put this exactly where it was. There we go. So there we have it. A new rope bridge with super long tails that we get to adjust now. And when we climb on this, we can clip in to the black ring. We can clip into the bridge. And now we have two more clip in points um, on these side V-rings that we can, uh, you know, that will really open up a lot of options while you're up in the tree.